Uh, sorry about that because I'm uh, in a different recording place or a place to record. So, uh, you know, there's different sounds around here and I can't easily block them out. So, it's unfortunate. Return to the bedroom before the guiding light absorbs all of your vitality. Uh, can't afford anything in there. Let's not be able to afford anything. Let's go. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, so yeah, we just essentially have to hurry because we're losing health by the second year. Um, it's I don't think it's it's really not that hard this mission because it's pretty it's another one of the really short ones. Uh, nothing at the end here. Uh, it's a really short one. Uh, and you get I think enemies have a slightly higher chance to drop green orbs here. Also, how do you feel about another phantom encounter? Yeah, you can actually find this one better to run away from. You don't have to deal with him. You can just run away. Because, yeah, he didn't die after we beat him earlier. Twice. So that's fun. Uh, there's a secret mission in here that you can do, but I'd advise not doing it now. Uh, if only because, you know, you're on a countdown here. Uh, you can come back and do it like, I'm not gonna do it either because it's another, it's another secret mission. It just sucks to deal with, it's just annoying. Um, that's just the thing with a lot of the secret missions in this game is that they're garbage. <laughs> Guys, listen, I know I know I know you guys are bugs, but I just I need to thank you. Yep, goodbye, let me go. So uh yeah, I I'm not gonna do it either. I'm not gonna do that secret mission because it's just not fun to deal with. What am I doing? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> So that should be the end of the mission. Oh no, once we go behind here, it will be. Yep, there we go. Cool. Two missions. Ah, another A. <laughs> God damn it. It is pretty damn difficult to get S ranks in this game though. It's not like DMC5 where it's like, oh, I it got hit about a million times and, you know, didn't get very good combos, but oh, it's giving me an S rank, cool. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't like that. Anyway, for some odd reason here, uh, you don't get a mission uh, start straight away. You have to do this little section, which is weird, but all right. Legendary Dark Knight returns. Activate the mechanism and escape from the rooftop. Uh, I don't want the vortex. You know, I'll just hold in some uh, red orbs. Alright, so let's come over here. Sorry, let's stop the mission. I'm not really paying attention. They give you another um, Goddess of Hope here if you want. Goddess of Time, sorry. Uh, so let's. There's not really else in this room, really. It's a strange layout, but uh, anyway, we'll come over here. And it really feels like there should be something up here, like some sort of little secret, but there's not. Which is really weird, but anyway, come out here. And get a nice little room, nice stained glass window here, but uh, try to leave and uh oh, this seems familiar. How do you guys feel about another phantom fight? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's quite unrelenting. Alright, so here's Phantom again. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you didn't like 
Phantom, then too bad, because you have to deal with him again, again. Um, there isn't a single boss in this game that you fight once, which is uh, not that great, but uh, oh well, I suppose. Anyway, um, you can kill him the normal way, and I will continue to kill him the normal way. Um, but, if you can, well, first of all, he's got this meteor attack, which is probably easier than the fire guys are attacked to deal with. Um, oops, I messed that up. Uh, but what you really want to try and do, if you want at least, um, it's actually easier to do this on high difficulties where he has more health, but uh, you want him to, he's not going to do it here, but oh well. Uh, his jump attack. You can try and make him land dead center on the on the middle of this uh, glass pane here. And uh, so he jumped backwards there. Oops. Um, but if you can try and get him to land on it, uh, then it will start to break. And the more times that he lands on it, uh, you know, the more damage it'll take. And eventually, if you damage it more, uh, enough then he will break through it and it will instantly end the fight because he'll land. Um, well actually I won't spoil that because we're going to see that anyway, but you can just instantly end the fight, um, which is really, really fun. <laughs> it's really, really cool that you can do that and it's pretty useful on uh, high difficulties. So this here is what would play. He lands on that spike and dies. So no more phantom, don't worry. It's, it's really finicky to do though, it's really hard, um, for some reason, just because, you know, you can't control where he jumps, so, you know, I've only seen it happen once, uh, and I've only been able to do it once, so. <laughs> a jiggy little smile. So yeah, down goes Phantom. Uh, finally, as you know, most people would say. And there's Trish. Incredible power. Not helping at all. Also, her design is ridiculous, but uh, I guess that's kind of the point. Uh, oh well, I guess. Um, well, yeah, she's like the generic hot woman sort of design. Like, there's nothing special about it. Anyway, if you sting off of that, then you can come up here, get a blue fragment. Um, like, she's a whatever character. Um, she's not that interesting, but... Uh, she gets a little more interesting in later games. Anyway, get this trident here. Can't use it as a weapon, unfortunately. Yeah, there's never been a spear weapon in Devil May Cry. How cool would that be? Uh, actually, I think there's a lance in the reboot uh, at some stage, but... Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played the reboot. So anyway, we come back down here. Well, not back down here, we've never been here. Um, we head around... This corpse of a soldier who must have wandered into the castle and died from exhaustion. He's holding something. We get the best gun in the game, the grenade gun. Fires exploding shells of shrapnel, extremely destructive. This is the best thing. I love the grenade gun. Yeah, first of all, that awesome animation. So yeah, we got a grenade gun. It's more powerful than a shotgun, slower than a shotgun. Um, better than the shotgun, <laughs> so I hit this and cause that to have a little roll, cause the drawbridge to go down. And now we can head out. So I consider the last fight with Phantom like the end of the first section of the game, uh, really, so. Um, I already grabbed the stuff that was here, so there shouldn't be anything else. Uh, three openings, use the trident here, and now you have to hurry. 
um, because it's like a little timed thing they have to do, so. Yeah, see, so you remember this, right? Alright, so you want to jump over that, through that little gap there. The game's not really clear that you can do that, but you can. Um, ignore the Bloody Marys and stuff. Go down the stairs. Don't go up. I don't think you can anyway. Um, head out this door. Quickly head through here. And there we go. Now we can jump in here. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> you a fool. Jump in here. And get another blue orb fragment. So that's cool. So yeah, you have to come through here quickly so that way you can get here before the uh, door goes down. B. Alright. Quite a few red orbs there. You know, if you've played the newer DMC games and you come back to this game, you think 2,000 red orbs, that's nothing. Uh, I guess the, the currency for red orbs in DMC 1 was a bit stronger because uh, you just don't get as many red orbs and things aren't that exp uh, things aren't as expensive as they are in future games anyway so it's just strange that starting with DMC2 they uh, really made things more expensive um, and gave you more so what could I get or what should I get really uh, yeah let's get Stinger 2 because that really helps um, allows us to go further because I, I feel kind of weird with Stinger 1. <laughs> Not really comfortable. So that's a good distance. So anyway, now we can leave the castle. Uh, as I said earlier, I kind of consider... And we can't go back. <laughs> uh, as I said earlier, I kind of consider the first eight missions like the first third of the game. There's 23 missions. Um, and uh, what's the name... You know, we're we're in the second third of the game now, which I can, which is like I consider there to be three different sections. There's the, uh, well, technically four, but I count it as three really. Um, there's the castle part. There's this part, which is like the castle grounds, like outside of the castle. Um, also, we got Lizalfars here from Zelda. Uh, I think they're called they're called blades, but. What's the name again? That that was Alphos. Um, what's the name? What was I saying? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to whack them and get my timing right. Uh, yeah, this is this is like a castle ground section, which is like the second third of the game. God, air raids, super powerful. It's so cheap as well. I don't understand that. As you can see, there's a yellow orb over here. So let's go grab that. Uh, and then the third section I have a name for, but I don't really, you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna spoil it. Jeez, come on! It's only mission nine out of twenty-three. So anyway, we come up this little section here, and uh, there's a message carved in message carved into the giant stone tablet. This is where the blue light is sealed. Cool. Let's just whack it a bunch and get a blue orb fragment. And get our health bar extended. Sweet. So I just realised I missed that. I missed that secret mission that I was thinking of earlier. Um, back in like mission three. Uh, oh well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not too worried about mis uh, secret missions because I don't really find them that enjoyable. We can't go through here uh, at the moment, but we can hop up to the top here and grab ourselves a holy water. Which is cool. You'll, if you know where to get them, you can actually get quite a few holy waters by the end of the game, um, just by finding them around the place. Come through here, and there's more. Just kidding. There's no blades. I'm thinking of hard mode, um, where there's more or different enemy encounters, and there's more of them, harder ones as well. So we get a yellow orb there. Come round to this side. Ignore the little thing there for a bit. Come round here and get ourselves a Devil Star. Cool. I don't really, I don't really think I'm going to use any of these items, but it's cool to have them on hand. 
Uh, also, you can never buy more than one of these at a time. So because I have a vital star on me, I can't buy one until I lose this one. Um, but if you find... If I find another untouchable or devil star or vital star or holy water, then I'll get another one in my inventory. That's the only way to get more than one in your inventory is to find them. So it keeps you from, you know, just stockpiling on them. Uh, future games, just kind of get rid of that rule. Uh, especially DMC3, you can have a million uh, vital stars and just cheese, Dante must die, which is probably what I'll do one day because I'm not... I'm not bothered to play through DMC3 like a million times. You know, I love the game, but I've already done three playthroughs of it. Um, and that's after doing five playthroughs of this. F five playthroughs of DMC2 as well. To platinum them. Anyway, here we go. There's an inscription on the base. My name is Ifrit. The fool who awakens me shall pay dearly with the fires of hell. So let's awaken Ifrit. And get ourselves a cool animation. So now we got these cool fire gauntlets. Ifrit, a flaming gauntlet that gives the possessor increased powers. Finally. Finally, we get a new move set. Yeah, so there are significant, uh, significantly more swords than uh, gloves in this game, which is uh, interesting. But Ifrit does a lot of damage. You can charge up each uh, attack for more damage as well, which is awesome. And you can do this little dive kick, which is amazing. <laughs> I use this dive kick all the time. And this also charges the hell out of the style meter as well, because it does so much damage. So that's really neat. Oh god damn it, I was trying to get an S rank combo, but you guys had to get too far away. Also, a little known fact, if you press the right trigger, then you can switch between Alistair and Ifrit on the fly. Which, you know, most people think that DMC3 was the first to have uh, on-the-fly weapon switching. No, DMC1 actually had it. It's cumbersome because you have to wait through the little animation instead of it being instant. So you can't string together combos, but you can you can do it. Can't switch back to Force Edge using this method, though. Well, I got ourselves a new boss here. Block off, Featherface, or you can stick around the hard way. Which is actually the name of this song as well. So anyway, we got a new boss fight here. This is Griffin. Uh, he's... Interesting. I think he's maybe the best fight in the game. Um, just because his laser attacks are really well choreographed, I feel. Um, so, while he's up in the air, you can't really do anything about him. Um, but if you just go ahead and, uh, oops, okay, let's, I actually find this, you've been disconnected from the access point. Thank you, PS3. That's fantastic. Um, you really gotta think about, the, uh, his patterns, by the way. You kind of have to concentrate, get the timing down. But, uh, I actually find this battle much easier with, uh, Alistar because of air ride. So... I'm just, just going to power through. No, I'm not. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I'm not going to power through him. See, I want to show off Ifrit, but it's kind of cumbersome hitting him. Oh god. I dodged out of that cool. Because he keeps jumping up in the air and it's really hard to deal with him. Um, also, you may notice that uh, when I was fighting those blades earlier, I left the green orb alone. That was on the top of this little place here. Up here. Um, that's because you really want to save it for this boss. Also, you can actually entirely skip this boss. Uh, what we have to do after this, we have to use... Um, in this same room, actually. 
there's a spot where we have to use Ifrit to uh, uh, open up a pathway because of its fire ability. Um, the thing is, you know, we can do that now uh, if we want. I'm going to go back and get a health actually because I was expecting his lasers to be higher than I am. Yeah, there we go. See, I could just cheese this fight if I switch to Alistair, but I'm not going to do that. And I'll fight it legitimately. And it's, it's killing me because I can't just, you know, get him because his hitbox is strange. Okay, now I can get him because he's on the ground. So there we go. That's Griffin 1. Yeah, we have to fight him again, so... Off he goes. But yeah, you can skip that entire fight if you just run up here. Also, killing a boss refills your Devil Trigger, by the way. Run up here, and just hit this, and the door instantly opens. And you can just skip the fight. You don't have to worry about him. But uh, I thought, hey, this is a Let's Play, so I probably shouldn't cheese the game. Um, I'll actually show another method to cheese the game uh, in a second that you can do uh, using the grenade gun which is a lifesaver on Dante Must Die and hard mode so let's see here all you have to do, also this is a fetish I think is the name of the enemy which is an interesting name but uh, it's got fire rings, so it's dangerous. Anyway, this is what you do. Lock on, shoot, roll, shoot, roll, shoot, roll, shoot, roll. I missed, I jumped there, and that's it. The enemies just can't touch you. It just destroys everything. And it's really good at building Devil Trigger. So, yeah, I. it's a lifesaver on Dante Must Die, and uh, on hard mode. So, uh, definitely use it there. I wouldn't give you any shame for doing that there. Because the game is not fair hard on, on hard or Dante Must Die. Uh, it, it works against a few of the bosses, but not many. Uh, Nello Angelo, it's good for building Devil Trigger. Uh, Griffin, just good for also building Devil... Really, it's just good for building Devil Trigger on bosses. Um, if you come up here... Where is it? Uh, I think it's about here. Yeah, okay, it's up there. Um, there's a little secret up there. You can get a bunch of red orbs. So. It feels good to just, you know, memorize a game and know where all the little secrets are. Something really rewarding, uh, rewarding about that. Can break those barrels, but I don't give us anything. So let's go to the Goddess of Time. Check out what we can get. We can get Magma Drive, Charge Power and Release in the form of an Ultimate Magma Uppercut. I kind of want Rolling Blaze more than that. Or Meteor is also pretty good. Fenno is pretty good. It's expensive. Oh, I'll get, I'll get Kick 13, because that's really good. And I'll get Magma Drive. Magma Drive? Ugh, that, ugh. <laughs> it's a little close to something that's not fun. So that's one kick. Um, and this is the uppercut, which is chargeable. So Kick 13. You have to be in Devil Trigger. Yeah, so you just have to uh, press forward and attack an R1. Um, and mash the attack button over and over, and you'll just do like a bunch of kicks, and it's pretty good. Um, very good, even. And don't worry about something like elemental weaknesses or anything, that's not really a thing uh, in this game until Devil May Cry 2, where it's not noticeable in the slightest. Damn it, I just want an S rank combo, damn it. It's 
pretty, it's easier to get with Ifrit because you can just charge up, but if the enemies go flying back like that, it's pretty hard. So just kick 13 the hell out of them. So yeah, what you do is bam. Bam, just he dodged out of the way. Well, he fell out of the way, I guess. Oh, I was expecting you to get hit there. And I did. <laughs> See, I, I know how to call him. Oh, also, uh, the first battle theme doesn't play anymore. Now we hear Public Enemy. Uh, sorry, uh, Lock and Load from now on. Public Enemy is the name of the first battle theme. Come up here and we can break through that gravestone. I'm sorry. Get uh, Devil Star and another one of these... There's a name for these things, but I can't think of it. Yeah, these things aren't very good. You just really have to hit these things a bunch of times. So if you've got Kick 13, go ahead and use that. But Strength of your attack isn't really uh, what they're looking for, so... Anyway, we need to... Yeah, remember this. You need 200 Red Orbs in order to get through that. So make sure you got them. And there we go, that's mission 9. Very long mission. Let's see. I am going to S rank one of these missions. I think it's going to be mission 13. I think it's the one I'm thinking of. I'm going to do it and I'm going to S rank a mission. And I'm going to get an S rank combo. I'm, I'm confident about getting an S rank combo. I know I can do that.